Learning to tune your violin is a simple and easy process. The first thing that you're going to need is a chromatic tuner. Now you can purchase a standalone chromatic tuner like this one, or you can install an app on your smartphone or tablet. They both work essentially the same way. It's just a convenience factor as far as whether you want a standalone or as an app. The apps can be free or cost a few dollars. Um, the standalone chromatic tuners start at like five or six dollars and go up from there. So they're both relatively inexpensive. Now, all chromatic tuners work essentially the same way. So you have the note name here and it's gonna tell you what note you're on. And then you have a dial here. The dial is gonna tell you whether or not the note that you're playing is flat or sharp. If it's sharp, it's gonna to be to the right. And if it's flat, it's going to be to the left. The same thing works here. You have the note name up here in the corner and then you have a dial here. And obviously if it's sharp, it's gonna be on the right. And if it's flat, it's gonna be on the left. And if it's perfectly in tune, it's gonna go right down the middle. So one of the biggest thing that beginners have problems with is number one is making sure that we have enough string tension for each one of the strings when we start tuning. So the first thing you wanna do is just check and make sure that each string is taunt because if it's loose, then your bridge can fall out. Then the second thing that people do is they overtune the violin. So they turn the string too much, too fast, and they break a string. So in order to avoid that, what we're gonna do is be very careful not to over tighten the string as we're tuning. So the first thing that you're gonna do is we always start with tuning the A string because of the fact that when we play in a symphony, we all tune to the same note and that's this open A. So if you remember, we have the G string, the D string, the A string, and the E string. And we're gonna start with the A. So you're gonna grab the violin by the edge here and you're gonna pull the A string. And we're gonna look over here and we're gonna see what it registers as. Now you wanna be careful because the tuner will tune whatever it hears. So in some cases, it'll actually tune like your air conditioning or your voice. So try and do this in a quiet room. So let's go ahead and pull the A string. As you can see, it registered as A and the line was down here. So it was saying that it's flat, so it needs to go a little bit higher. So if it's flat, we just want to tighten the string a little bit, but we want to be careful not to over tighten the string. So I recommend as you get started, even though we think that the note is flat, we're going to turn the string down just a little bit and then go a little bit higher just to make sure. So we're going to go ahead and grab the peg that corresponds with the string. So this is the A string peg. We're going to push, hold on tight with the left hand, push in with the right hand and just gently turn down. And then let's check it and see how we're doing in terms of sound. Okay, so it says that we're at G, so we need to go a little bit higher. So let's push the string in. Now we're gonna turn the peg and we're not gonna turn it a lot. It's just maybe like a centimeter. And then let's check it. Now it says that we're at a high G sharp. We wanna be at A, so we're gonna turn and just go a little bit higher. Still at G sharp. Turn and go a little bit higher. Now this is sort of a slow process, but we don't wanna to turn too much because we're gonna break a string. So just a little bit at a time. A little more. Now we're almost to a perfect A. The marker says it's right here and we wanna be right in line with this blue part right here. So we don't have a fine tuner on this violin for the A. So if we did have a fine tuner, we just go ahead and turn that and adjust it. Since we don't have a fine tuner, one of the tricks you can do is put your finger up here on the top of the A string and just push down just a little bit. 
That's going to make it a little bit tighter, but not too much. Now let's try it and see if we're in tune. And as you can see, it changed the color of the arrow here and it's right in line. So we're in tune for A. Okay, now that we have the A string done, let's go on and I like to do the D and the G first and then move on to the E. So the way that we tune the D and the G is the same as the A, we just hold the violin with our right hand and use our left hand to tune. So let's see what the D string sounds like for now. All right, so as you can see, it registered as C sharp. So we need to go higher. But of course, we're gonna follow our rule to go a little bit lower first, just to double check. So we're gonna turn our string down just a hair and let's check it. Okay, now we're at C. So let's go ahead and push in and turn up just a little bit. A little bit higher C. Now, sometimes our pegs do not like to stay in place. So it's important to hold the violin by the edge of your, um, with your hand, and then push with this hand as you turn. That allows the peg to stay in place a lot better. All right, we're at C sharp. And we're at a low D, so we're just gonna keep going. We're almost there, just a tiny little adjustment more. And we're in tune. Let's try the G. Oh, we're really low. So let's go down just a hair. Okay, now let's go up. Keep going. Okay, now the E string is the string that most often gets broken when we're tuning violins. So we wanna be very, very careful to not over tune the violin. Most violins have this fine tuner here. So take advantage of that. Use this as much as possible. Try not to use the pegs if you don't have to. So let's pull the string. And it says D sharp, but with the E string, we can use the fine tuner. So let's turn the knob on the fine tuner and let's try and see if we can tune it that way. All right, we're almost there. Keep going. A little more. Okay, now some beginners, when they take the fine tuner, they start turning it multiple times. You don't need to do that. Maybe a half a turn and you're in good shape. All right, just a little bit more. A little bit more. Good. Now, once we have all the strings adjusted, we wanna go back through and check to make sure that every string is in tune because sometimes we'll be adjusting one string and the other string will fall. So let's check the A. And as you can see, it's just a little bit flat. So we're gonna do that trick again. We're gonna push right up here. Okay, and then D. And D were flat, so we're gonna grab here. Turn up just a hair. Now we're too sharp by just a little bit. So another trick that you can do is pull the string out just a hair and that'll loosen it so it's in tune. We need to pull just a little more. Okay, G. G, same problem. So we're gonna go up here and just push just a hair. And let's do the E. And the E's in tune. 